Hiya all my Ali Pallies and thank you for joining me today. Now I've had yet another request from Linda Churchman. Hi Linda. Now Linda's not very well at the moment. Um, so get well soon Linda. Now um, Linda sent a um, link to the new Charlotte Tilbury video which was on my list to watch actually. And it's called The Enchanting Asian Bridal Look. Now if you don't know, you probably do by now, but if you don't, I am actually half Indian, so I was really excited to try this look. Um, and so I did actually do try this out yesterday and I put a picture on Instagram and I promised you all that I would do the video. I would copy her video and show you how I did it. So let's get going with this look, shall we? Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do before I do any of her tutorial... I just did a full start because you might notice I've got a tiny bit of magic cream on, right? But I'm not cheating. It's because I forgot to put my sunscreen on. And you must always put your sunscreen on. Um, especially as I am planning to go out. But even if I wasn't, sun comes through at the windows. And it's very important to wear your sunscreen every day, come rain or shine. Let me get some on my head as well. Um, and I'm going to put this on first. The manufacturers say that you should put this on before moisturiser. Although there's different schools of thought about it. And I'm not going to get into that now because it will take far too long. Just dot, dot a little bit more around my eyes. This has got a slight tint to it. Which is good because it balances out my pigmentation a bit. Okay, so that's the sunscreen. Now, first up in her tutorial, she uses magic cream. So I'm gonna put some magic cream on. Okay, and while that's sinking in, then the next thing she does is Magic Eye Rescue. Okay. So, Magic Eye Rescue. This does actually wear beautifully under makeup. And I'll put a little bit on my lids as well. And around the sides. Just going to pat that in. Okay, I'm going to let that sink in for a minute and I'll be right back. Okay, so next on up, we she's use, she uses Magic Cream. Now, she uses shade 8 on the model. I'm going to be using shade 6.75. So that's just, she's a little bit darker than me. And she uses um, her Magic Foundation brush, which I have, which also tends to malt a bit. But it is a really good brush and it does buff it in really well. I really noticed yesterday doing a complete Charlotte Tilbury look how beautifully the products work together so like the magic cream and the foundation um, and it made me think why have I been messing about with other brands because although you get single items that you think mm, that's slightly better when you put all Charlotte's items together they really work beautifully together. Okay, next on up, we're going to use Magic Away Concealer. Now, I noticed yesterday that she was in the video when I was looking at it, that she used a blending brush to blend it in. So I, I've got two blending brushes. So I thought I'd give that a go. So now she used six under her eyes and she used eight on the rest of her face. Um, 
and I use six and seven because I'm slightly paler than her, the lady in the video. So let's see what this does. Hmm. It does blend it quite smoothly. Just want to get that bit here at the side. My eyes are a little bit discoloured at the moment, as you can probably see. And then shade seven on the rest of my face. Okay, then next on up, she uses Flawless Filter on the cheeks. Okay, now in the video, she uses shade 5, which is a little bit on the dark side for me, as you can see. Um, I've got 5 and I've got 3, so I'm going to mix a little bit of both together on each cheek. I'll just do 3 dots, 5 dots <laughs> of shade 5. And then five dots of shade three. And then going back to the foundation brush that I used before, I'm just going to pack that in. Okay, and then moving on to Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Okay, she used a medium over her entire face. I'm going to use medium and then I'm going to use a bit of fair under my eyes because as you can probably see, especially in this light, my eyes are looking a little bit dark today. And then shade one under my eyes. Just highlight down the centre of my nose with the powder as well. Okay, then next on, we are moving on to the eyes. Okay, just went to check then on the video to make sure I had the order of things correctly. So next on in, she goes in with her brow liner, which is called um, Brow Lift. And she uses Supermodel and I am the same shade in brow product. So first of all, she brushes them up. So then she does the brows.
Okay, next up she fills in any gaps left in the brows with Legendary Brows and again this is in shade Supermodel. Next on in, she curls her lashes with full fat lashes. And then, next up, she does the feline flick. Here we go. Sorry, the picture probably looks a bit clearer now because I've just cleaned the lens. It was looking a bit misty. Okay, so let's go in with the feline flick. I'm just going to come back because my eye's watering. Okay, and then she goes underneath with um, Barbarella Brown, both in the waterline and below. And then she takes her eyeliner brush to blend it in. And I'm hoping that my eyes will not water anymore, but they're really not reacting well to this at the moment. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, that was the best I could do because my eyes were constantly watering. Um, so not the tidiest black line in the world, but we shall carry on regardless. So next on in, she goes in with the eyeshadow and and it is star gold um, eyes to mesmerise and I'll just get. Okay, they put it on with a brush, but I always find it really difficult to pick this cream up with a brush. So I shall dab it on and then brush it in. Let's put a bit more on. Okay, and then she uses full fat lashes, which will, I will do off camera and I'll be right back. Okay, then she uses Film Star Bronze and Glow. Now I noticed in the video that although she says light to medium, they're actually using the dark one on this lady, which for the bronzer, but they're using the lighter one as the highlighter. So I'm gonna do the same because I've got the dark one. It's just, slightly better contour on me at this time of year so I'm just going to do that and she also did a bit of bronzing as well let me just do some contouring first
and a bit of bronzing. And then I'm going to swap over because she used a little bit of the highlighter from the medium light to medium film star bronze and glow. So I'm moving on to the lighter one and I'll just put a bit of that to start off the glow. Then they swap over to the Bar of Gold Trio, which I shall get next. Okay, here's the Bar of Gold Trio, and I saw her dipping it into this one and this one. And using it all over to highlight. I'm going to use some of that in there as well. And I want some brow highlight. Didn't see her doing this on the video. But it does give the eye a lift, so I'm doing it. Okay, I think they do lips next. So let's go on to the lips. And I'm going to use Walk of, Walk of Shame, first of all. And then lipstick, which you use straight out of the bullet. And then the last thing Charlotte always uses blush last is cheek to cheek in ecstasy, which was my first cheek to cheek blush from Charlotte Tilbury. No, it wasn't. It was my second. I just remembered because I got the vintage vamp first and that had love is a drug in it. So this must have been my second, but I love it. And I'm just going to find my blush brush. There it is. So first of all, I'm going to swish around the side. I like to do both my swishes first. and then pop a nice pop of pink on the cheeks and this blush will suit all skin tones it's just a really good all round up it's got a lovely peachy outer ring and then a nice pop of pink in the middle so if you're not sure which one to get it's a good one I think for all skin tones it's not too fair, it's not too dark, and it's not too bright, and it's not too subtle. It's a really brilliant one that will go with a lot of looks. So there you have it. There is the Asian bridal look. Um, I'm sorry about my watery eyes. I really, it's a really, really high pollen count again today, and I've taken all my antihistamines but my eyes have been very sensitive all day. So sorry about that, but I hope you've enjoyed this look and I will see you all on Wednesday. Take care. Bye-bye, my Ali Pallies. Thank you for watching.